and what is up guys, Technicals here. CPU mining right now is hot, hot shit. shit. We just wrapped up one full epic or epoch or epoch over on Cubic. Cubic's a hot new CPU mineable coin currently. And it takes a week to get the payout, but my 7950X3D was able to find four solutions good for uh, about $3.96 per day. That's at the time of me making this video. And as you know, prices go up and down and all around. $3.96 per day on one CPU, granted a really, really good CPU, is blowing everything else out of the water. So it's time to do it again. We got a new processor, not a 7950X3D, this is a 7900X. We already have one of those, and it comes pretty close in terms of performance to the 7950X3D, just without that extra added cost. Now, again, CPUs are still pretty expensive right now because everybody's jumping on the CPU train and prices are going up. But luckily for me, I was able to find this on Amazon's warehouse site. Link in the description below. Links to everything that we feature today in this build in the description below. You buy using my link, I get a little money. So we're gonna build out this rig in much the same style as we've done before, and we're gonna tweak and tune it to mine Cubic. It's gonna be a dedicated Cubic miner, at least until Cubic's no longer fashionable to mine. What do we got for this build? Again, Amazon warehouse deal on a 7900X, 32 gigabytes of DDR5, NVMe, 256 gigabyte, not much. Again, link in the description below. Our favorite CPU cooler, the Thermal Assassin. Super duper cheap, uh, less than $30 for this. Keeps everything nice and cool. And another Amazon warehouse find, this Gigabyte B650 MDS. 3H motherboard, which is what our current 7900X is on, which is running great. So let's build this damn thing and see how much we make. On the technicals, let's get into it. just to do a little baseline comparison, this is our current 7900X, the one that's been faithfully performing us. Now it's on Zeph or not Cubic, so it might there might be some variations there, but I'm gonna copy everything over and probably run it on Zephyr just to uh, compare apples to apples, just to make sure we're all in line. Currently, uh, this eating about 175 watts, subtract about 15 of that for the, uh, the monitor, which runs uh, via USB, link in the description below, buy it, very handy. Uh, so I'm just gonna swap over the settings, it's the same motherboard, same processor, just one for one all the way through. Man, that's a good looking rig. So let's go ahead and power this up and start tweaking. Oh, not this kind of tweaking. We are up, let's see. And it wouldn't be an AM5 build without it being a complete pain in the ass from the very beginning. So nothing's coming up, remove the RAM so it didn't, it wasn't doing memory training. There's no memory to train, clear the CMOS, but no effect there. So I'm gonna Q flash it. All right, DS3H seems to be a complete dud. Uh, no LED, error LED lights or anything, no post, nothing whatsoever. So unfortunately we had to do this again. I don't know how many motherboards I've swapped 
in the process of CPU builds, but going with the B650M Aurora's Elite AX. As far as settings go, pretty much identical to this. We uh, we did uh, AC power loss, XMP profile one, and our core we put down to 0.98, and it's been running pretty stable. I've got this one at one. I think that's because that's just where I ended up. I did not perform any overclocks on the core on this one. Just dial the voltage down just for uh, cooler temperatures because the summer's coming. All right, so how do you actually mine Cubic? Well, I'm gonna suggest you go to Rabbit Mining's channel because he's got a great guide on it. And he stays on top of these things. He gets to it a lot quicker. I'll put the link to this in the description below. I'm mining on Cubic LI pool. If you head over to their GitHub and you scroll down here, they have this link, the URL to use in the HiveOS flight sheet. I made a flight sheet for each CPU. And you can change this in the CPU uh, parameters for each device, but I just made a flight sheet for uh, 24 thread CPU and 32 thread CPU. All right, so we're up right now showing a just over 300 hashes here on the 7900X. For comparison, our 7950X3D uh, gets about 368. So we got our new build isolated, no monitor or anything like that connected. We turned this one off. And so we're getting about 144 watts. Doing the very simple math, back of the envelope, currently 144 watts, giving us 287 hashes per second. That comes out to my electricity rate, 26 cents a day in total power cost. Now, if we're going based on the previous Epic on our 7950X3D, now when you're mining Cubic, it's, uh, it's kind of solo-ish. It's a really super heavy, ultra luck based. I was able to get four solutions in one week and it ended up being about $29. Uh, in total cubic. I'm not basing it on how many cubic I get. I'm basing it on dollars because I want dollars. So uh, four solutions for 29 bucks came out to 725 a solution, about 414 a day at 368 hash, which is uh, 0.1 uh, dollars per hash, backing that up into 287 hashes, which is what this gets, assuming the exact same thing happens based on the hash rate for this period. Comes out to about 325 per day. Uh, for this 7900X. Now, is that gonna remain true? It could be zero, could be more, could be less. I've already got five solutions on my 7950X3D after four days of mining. So uh, if this rate holds true, the 7950X has already made more uh, this epoch than the one we're currently in. Either way, it's worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and put, uh, let's just go ahead and put all our CPUs on the new benches and put them all on Cubic. So we got everybody up, all of our CPU rigs currently on Cubic. We're just gonna smash Cubic through the end of this epic and see what we come up with. Maybe we'll stay on it through next cycle. Maybe we'll pull off depending on what the rewards look like. We plug in our information that we were looking at earlier, our super dumb hopium uh, based on what we got last time, based on the number of solutions, what we could expect this time, assuming we ran the full week with these, but it's not, it's Saturday morning right now. So we're halfway through. Um, if we ran the full week, assuming everything's the same, you, you're with me here, you can give me some rope, right? Uh, at 1150 hashes per second would be $13 per day uh, uh, for our CPU miners. So times seven days, that's 91 for the week times four, that's 365 a month on four CPU miners. If that pans out, you know, and Cubic continues to, you know, keep its price where it is, which it's not currently, it's kind of feathering off a little bit. So that's the squeeze. We got all our CPU miners up on new stands, nicely labeled because aesthetics are important if you're doing videos. Everything running great. We're on Cubic for the week with all our CPUs. Now, that, again, that might change uh, as we approach the next epic. If you're interested in building one of these or getting started with any of these, links in the description below to Amazon to buy all the parts used in today's video. Please let me know in the comments below if you're completely uninterested in CPU mining, you think Cubic's going nowhere, you think there's no point in mining it whatsoever, let me know in the comments below. Whatever your thought is, just leave a comment in the comments below. Appreciate you stopping by. I'm The Technicals. See you next time. <laughs>